these are some of the coins that we'll be looking for. Uh, they're uh, examples of the double dies and uh, what years and so on. Uh, we're going all the way back to 1972 on this, all right? So uh, 72 uh, pennies can be found, uh, uh, quite a few of them actually. Uh, th this uh, section is uh, off of eBay and uh, gives you an example better than the Red Book, uh, uh, looking in a book and all that. So pause as you wish, go back to these if you wish. Uh, clip them, snip them, uh, keep them on your computer. You're free to download this uh, video if you wish. And happy hunting in those boxes of pennies. $25 is $25 face value. You can never lose money doing this. You can always make money by getting, finding the rare coins. Happy hunting. Hey, my wife just stopped by um, a bank and got me a box of $25 pennies. I gave her $25 to do that for me, but that's cool. The really nice thing is, they're not all the same years. They're not all 2012s. Um, it would be really nice if they were 2013s, I guess. But uh, that means there's going to be a variety of coins in there, and that's what I love. I love the variety of coins. Let's see what we can find in this box. First, uh, through the first ten rolls of the box, and came up with four coins, and I'm going to show you those coins now. So every ten rolls I go through, I'm just going to make another video because it is a lot of coins. Big magnifying glass, and I pulled out a uh, 1972 S. I keep all the S's. Uh, nothing really special about this, other than it's nice and clean. Um, I'm going to get too deep into this, but it, it is a, a very nice. Nice coin, so I'm going to set that aside. Um, this is a uh, 1949S. Nothing spectacular about it other than it is uh, an older S. Uh, relatively clean, uh, not in very good condition because you can't see it in the, very much of his face thing, but I still keep it as a wee penny. Alright, uh, another one is uh, 1957, and check this guy out. Here are the five. Okay, let's uh, go over to the BE die mark there. I haven't looked over the coin very much. I just saw those two things. So, uh, God We Trust looks pretty good. Alright, uh, you can see his ear, but uh, nothing really great. But uh, the errors are really nice. I do have a couple of varieties of it. There's a deposit on top of that one also. Let's flip it over and see something's on the other side. Uh, this is all looking good. Nothing up here. And it's all looking normal back there. So let's go to the last last coin. Uh, another. Uh, let's see, did I? Yep, that's another wee penny. So uh, so just some uh, pretty neat little coins. Uh, you know, I like S's and I like that uh, variety, the the die mark variety. Wonder how much I can get for that on eBay. <laughs> all right, press on. Here. Uh, that's the first 10 rolls. Well, this is after 20 rolls now. I've labeled uh, the box 001, so that's going to be the series of this video. Uh, what I do is I um, unpack 10 of them, 10 rolls over there, and that's how I count the rolls. Uh, the coins I've already looked at that you saw uh, before this is right there. What you're about to see is right here, and I actually have pennies over here that are really worth just a penny. There are uh, pennies that are just normal everyday pennies that go in here when I take pennies out. So as I move these four over there, four over here will go into the box. So there will always be $25 worth of pennies there. So uh, and after uh, during, during the next 10 I'm going to show you just what I do and what I look for uh, in these pennies. Okay, these are the next uh four coins I found after 20 or the next 10. A 1944 wheat. I, I suppose doing this is uh, really good for uh, new coin collectors that um, you know, youngsters that want to get into coin collecting and uh, want to gather some wheats. In the back, uh, the back has a little bit of the uh, edging. So th this is probably in a good condition. Uh, 1957D all right, there's the uh, Liberty and the, the upper letters. And uh, there is a cheekbone. You see the ear. 
Okay, a little bit of details on the, on the back. Okay, um, 58D. So, so far I've uh, found uh, an S and uh, an older S and all that. So, the, uh, and this has more detail on the back. Just moving around, hopping around, looking at different things. That's kind of odd. Look at that M. See if I can get a better. That is really odd. I just noticed that. Look at M. That is really something. Huh, I'll have to research that. That's a pretty cool find. Let's go over to this side. Can't really see a whole lot over there. But that. And really looks suspicious, like something's underneath that. That's a pretty cool find. Okay, now the 1994 again. Um, this is a D. Look at, look at inside the four. That caught my eye. The line that's inside. I have another one of those. So, uh, you know that. Um, you know that. That's something to to look at too. Uh, everything looks fine on this. Okay, so that was it. Um, I'm going to go on to the next uh, next 10 and uh, show you just how I look at the coins, what I'm looking for. Okay, if you look at the uh, children book, um, under the cents, uh, the pages change. Uh, this is a 2010, so I'm not too worried about the value, the current value. What I do look at is uh, the most current dates, and uh, we're looking from uh, 1982 uh, up to in the 2000s. Alright, uh, I'm looking for the uh, wide AMs, the uh, closed AMs, the double die at 95. Um, you know, there's a double ear at 94. So, uh, so that, that's a, that, you know, the um, double die reversed in, uh, in uh, 83. That's the 84 uh, double ear. Um, so so uh, there, there's uh, quite a few things right here to look for. Of course, if you come by another uh, uh, scent uh, that's older, you flip the page back. Uh, if you have suspicion, uh, you're looking at, at dishpan scents and all that stuff, stuff that would be in the cherry book, uh, you can refer to the cherry book. So this is a, a quick reference, and then uh, all I do is I take the roll of uh, pennies and I break it open and uh, throw it on the table. I put them all face up, and then uh, go through them real fast. I can take a quick look, and the trained eye knows what to look for. So that's uh, that's really uh, down to it. I have the book out open and looking at it, and then. Um, I, I just thumbed through all the all the cents. Time consuming, but you know, profitable at times. All right, I guess you can see a little bit of, of my desk here. Well, the important part is uh, where I'm putting the coins at and where I'm getting them out. Let's move this over here. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going to take a um, a roll out and just to let you know again what I'm looking for is 90, 19. Uh, 92 closed AM and D closed AM. I'm looking for the 84 double ear, uh, the 83 double reverse. I'm, I don't care about 82's uh, uh, big small dates and stuff like that. Uh, 95 double die, uh, 98, uh, 99 wide AM. So the upper and the 2000 wide AM. So the upper of the 90's is wide, the lower 90's which is at 92 are closed. AMs. So now you can hit this on the side, you can peel it, you can do whatever you want. I, I grab it, I push this out of the way so uh, it's not in my way. Um, I, I go ahead and uh, rip these open, push out both sides, keep everything kind of in order. And then uh, what I do is I take the roll here, I'm going to move the camera a little bit, okay, up so you can see this if I could. All right, over here. I have the rolls lined up. So one, two, three, four, five. When I hit ten, is when I stop and I take a picture and, and do this. So I'm going to bring this down here, and that should be fine. Okay. And I'm going to show you what just what I do here. Now I'm not going to use the magnifying glass to look at anything. I take my glasses off because I can see really good detail up close this way. I get rid of all the trash coins, all the coins that have corrosion on them and stuff. That's what I'm looking for now. Is uh, is just in the, I get the dirty ones. Okay, yeah, that's a 99. I could look right on the back at the AM, 
Okay, it's a closed AM. I'm looking for white AM. So I, so I just move on. Okay, uh, another dirty one. This is 90, uh, 85. Irrelevant of what it is. And it's 66. 82D. Okay, it's got a shield on the back. I don't even care about that one, okay? I look at the front, make sure the date's all good. There's no errors found with the ones on the shields. So um, here's 11, it's got the shield on the back. Uh, and I'm just browsing right through these because I know what I'm looking for. I throw those in, in the box. Okay, when I take this back to the bank, I'm gonna put in the change machine that reads it real quick. It'll be deposited right into my bank and I go back and get another box of 25. This is a 75. And if it really looks blurry to you when you're looking at these, that's 2010. And uh, uh, you can actually stop and um, 83, key date, 83. Think back what I said, double die reverse. We're not gonna look at this, we're gonna set it aside. All right, so uh, what we're gonna do is uh, with, with the ones that I set aside, uh, that's got a little dish pan, but I'm not worried about that. Um, uh, what I'm going to do with the ones I set aside, we're, I don't, I'm not going to look at it with my jeweler's uh, magnifying glass. We're going to use the desktop uh, microscope and uh, look at it for the first time. It would be really cool if something came up that was relevant, you know, an error did pop up while I was actually doing it. And you get my expression the first time we see that. So um, hopefully we come up with some more coins out of this roll because it would be really nice. It's a 99. I'm going to flip it over, close AM. Um, so, so uh, just uh, bear with me while I go. I, there's a lot. I know I do a lot of dialogue. I do talk a lot. My wife says I should be a politician. <laughs> oh, oh well. Um, okay, here's a really beautiful '84. Wow, that's shiny. I might keep that just because it's that shiny. But that's got a double ear. That's what we're looking for. Is a double ear on '84. So, so we'll set that uh, aside. Wow, if that's a double ear and in that nice condition. <laughs> Jeez. Um, Here's an 87. If you get mixed up on the dates, you can always look back at your book. 87 doesn't have any problems. And a 90. Okay, uh, 88. 87. 86. That's got a shield. Don't care about it. Um, 2007. 95D. I need 95, not 95D. Shield. Oh, we're coming down to the last one. Okay, so there's 88. Okay, so that's the full row. We got two coins out of that. So now we're going to switch over to the digital microscope, which I usually bring out anyway after looking at it with a big microscope, uh, to, uh, magnifying glass. All right, so here we go. Well, the next 10 rolls, there's 30 rolls now. Okay, I think that's 30 rolls. Yep, we're at 30 rolls. Okay, start now. Well, we just got through the next 10 rolls. That's a total of 30 rolls. Only one coin out of that was good. Uh, it's 90, uh, 19, uh, 1944 um, Wheat Penny. I'm not even going to go close on that because <laughs> it's got so many of them. There's my 10 uh, empty rolls, and that's how, how I go by it. So, uh, And as I uh, open up them, open up the rolls, I throw the pennies back in there. That's the way I take it back to the bank, dump it in the machine, and hopefully I count up to 25. All right? Yeah. Pressing on, probably tomorrow though, because it takes a long time doing this. So what, what I'm doing now is uh, I have my uh, digital microscope out, and I'm going down here looking at my 83, and you're looking at the one cent area. That's where the double die sits on an 83. I'm going to go all the way around and look at it, because um, I, I like doing that. I look at the building, I look at the edge of the building, the FG on the bottom. Okay, I look at all that stuff. So nothing, nothing with that. I'm going to throw it into the can into the box. This is an 84 now. Now it's an 84 error is the ear, a double ear. Okay, so and the book, I'm going to bring the book over here and we're going to go look at the book. Okay, uh, it's hard to see on the book, but there's two ears right there. Okay, because I got that fiber that's in the book this thing picks up. So uh, that's what I'm looking for over here is two ears and there's nothing there. I still, this is such a beautiful coin. I might just keep it because it's uh, that nice of a coin. And uh, there's no discoloring. I don't think there's any discoloring. I'm looking around. There's something right, uh, right where that T is right there. Yeah, T has a little discoloring at the bottom of it. So I might not keep it there. Um, but otherwise, that that's it. 
So uh, hopefully in the next row we'll find something. Well, the next 10, uh, I think that makes 40. Uh, nothing in the stack. Okay, didn't find anything in those. Uh, those were what I found in other stacks. There's my 10 that I count. So, uh, hey, uh, don't lose enthusiasm. Uh, you know, just uh, there's some more over there, and not in every box you're going to find anything. So it's, uh, I'm grateful to even find those, okay? So just keep pressing on. Well, that's it. All of them are looked over. Three, uh, three coins. Okay, um, a really, really, I don't know how focus is going to come in on this. But you can see the dishpan on that, on the edges. Okay, that caught my eye a lot. Okay, it's con, uh, let's see, conca convex there, concave here, dishpanned all the way around. And it's a um, uh, 1989. Uh, still, it's still a red color, which is really nice. This is a um, 1950, 1952S. Kind of hard to see. I'm not going to break out the microscope on this, the telescope, or whatever, your magnifying glass, uh, big thing. And this is a uh, another wee penny, uh, 1957. Okay, so uh, you know if you don't have these in your, uh, the nice thing is, if you're, um, if you you have a youngster that's uh, coin collecting or you're starting your coin collecting, you may not have that S or 57 in there. This is uh, the dish pan's a nice little. Uh, uh, it's it's in the uh, um, uh, what's that? The cherry, uh, cherry book, uh, cherry pickers book. Okay, but uh, I don't know if there's any value in that. Um, I can try selling on eBay and see what comes up. You can look for them on eBay and get some kind of idea. But anyway, uh, nice little roundup of. Uh, I'll put a little um, a little uh, sheet on uh, on the end of this uh, with all the uh, all the coins that I found and uh, and my estimated value of them. Okay, so uh, using the Red Book. So I hope you liked the video, and uh, I'll probably say this again anyway. Uh, subscribe if you wish. Bye.